Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Today I would like to share the knowledge about how do you calculate the annealing temperature for PCR. It is the most important for the researchers who are working on the PCR technique and uh, they should know about uh, uh, the annealing temperature and also they should know about how can they calculate the annealing temperature for the PCR uh, uh, technique. So the annealing temperature, it is the temperature where prime successfully and uh, therefore the annealing temperature should be less than the TM of, of the primers. TM means the melting temperature of the primer. So usually annealing temperature is uh, 55 to 60 degree but if we lower the temperature 45 to 55 it uh, promote the binding to the DNA. So this one is the annealing temperature and you can see in the image and uh, the, the primer of separating uh, and uh, uh, you can see that the uh, the binding of this uh, uh, primer to that uh, the sequence and uh, then the uh, uh, that the process of the PCR technique is uh, starting here. So the annealing temperature chosen for the PCR relies directly on the length and composition of the primers. So generally you should use an annealing temperature about 5 degree below the temperature melting temperature of your primers. So the optimal annealing temperature for a given primer pair on particular target can be calculated as follows. So this one is the formula that how can you calculate the, uh, that the annealing temperature optimum 0.3 multiply Tm of the primer plus 0.7 multiply Tm of the product minus 14.9 where the Tm of the primer is melting temperature of the less stable primer template pair. While the and other is that the Tm of the product is annealing melting temperature of the PCR product one consequence of having the TA too low is that one or both primers will anneal to the sequence other than the intended target because internal single base mismatches or partial annealing may be tolerated. So this can lead to non-specific PCR amplification and will consequently reduce the yield of the desired product. So uh, that the converse, uh, conversely when the TA is too high reaction efficiency may be reduced because the likelihood of the primer annealing is reduced significantly. So optimal annealing temperature gives the highest product yield of the correct amplicon and understand the importance of the melting temperature in the molecular uh, biology application. So this one is the reference. You can also study from this uh, uh, article about the uh, how can you calculate the annealing temperature of the primer. So uh, this one is the short video and uh, it is brief about uh, how can you uh, calculate the annealing temperature. So if you have any query or any suggestion or any question you can put the remarks or, or, uh, at my YouTube channel and I will try my best to give the a response as soon as possible. Thank you so much for listening this short video.